Hey guys, before I get into this video, I just want to say if you stick around to the end, you'll be able to see my latest and greatest. Yeah, I think it's my greatest. My latest and greatest video edit with my friend Kamisa. Motivational speaker Tony Robbins says that the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your relationships. Meaning, the better relationships you have with other people, the better life you're going to have. And I think that the relationships you have with other people are more of a manifestation of the feeling that you're holding within yourself. If you're feeling good, if you're holding good vibes, you're emanating those good vibes, you're going to meet people at the same frequency, they're going to come into your life and you're going to have great relationships based on those good vibes that you're both putting off. If either of you start putting off different vibes, changing your vibe up, doing drugs or thinking or acting negatively, then the relationship is probably going to fall apart and change. So it's fair enough, cool. But how do you go about making those friends? Like I said, you gotta, you gotta hold the vibe, sure, that's, that's one thing. But how do you actually go out and find friends? Can you just sit at home and sit on the couch and meditate and hold the good vibes and hope a good friend walks in? Yeah, you can. You can. You really gotta hold those vibes though. You really gotta, you really gotta embody that. You gotta act as if your friend is right there with you and you'll be able to manifest them coming in somehow. They'll text you or they'll call you or they'll knock on your door. Some, someone will come into your life. The law of attraction is real. But how do you actually, let's say, go to a festival and start meeting people, meeting and greeting? What are some tips that you can start using today that, if applied this summer at a festival, you'll actually make some friends with? Well, first tip I gotta say would be go to a festival that you actually wanna be at. Don't go to a festival that you were dragged to go to. Then you're gonna have that drag emotion attached to it. So the energy you approach the festival with is gonna be the energy that you're hopefully continuing to exude at the event, at the festival. So go to a festival that you're really excited for. That's tip number one. Don't go to some festival you don't even wanna go to. Go to a fruit festival. Go to a music festival. If you wanna to go to it. Not because someone else told you to go to it. Second thing is wear something that people can identify you as being an approachable person with. So wear a t-shirt that says, uh, come say hi if you're vegan or something like that. Or wear a shirt that says, add me on Snapchat and then put like your Snapchat username right there or something. Whatever it is. Wear clothing that's attractive for other people. Wear clothing that clearly indicates that you're an approachable kind of person. The third tip I would say would be to, uh, when you're at these events, when you're at these festivals, there's always something going on. There's always some event happening. There's always some activity that's going on. But you don't want to interrupt people mid-activity. So I would just go up to people who aren't really doing much, who are just sitting there, who are also watching an activity taking place. You go up, sit beside them and say, hey, what brings you here? It's a great opening line. What brings you here? Or how did you hear about this event? You want to ask open-ended questions. You don't want to ask yes or no. Like You don't want to ask, are you having a good time? Or... Uh, you don't want to ask, like, um, do you like it here? Or did you see that concert last night? Or did you see that event last night? Or do you know so-and-so? You don't want to ask yes or no questions. You want to ask open-ended questions. So how, how would you feel about doing that yourself? Or, oh, what benefits have you found since eating more fruits and vegetables? Um, so ask open-ended questions to people who are just sitting there not doing anything. Those people they want to be, typically they want to be spoken to, spoken with. They want someone to speak with. Um, and then the next tip would be to, when you're talking to these people, when you're talking to anyone you in interact with, be very aware of their body language. Be very aware. Learn to take a hint. Go study body language. Go watch like five or six videos on YouTube about body language. Learn all about body language. If someone's crossing their arms when they're talking to you, they probably don't want to be talking to you. That's why they're crossing their arms. They're closed off. Or maybe they want to talk to you, but not about that topic that you're speaking on right now. So if someone's ever crossing their arms, hand them a cup of juice or hand them a piece of fruit so they have to open up and grab the fruit or hold something for you. Or just change the topic. Get them to start talking about something that they're actually interested in talking about. People will rarely cross their arms halfway through what they're talking about. They typically only cross their arms when you're talking about something that they don't really vibe with or they don't really care about or they don't really agree with or something. 
So be very aware of people's body language. Also pay attention to their feet position. Are their feet pointing at you or are they pointing away? Now it's different when you're standing side by side with someone and you're watching something. Then your feet are probably going to be pointed at the thing you're watching. But if you're talking like one-on-one -on -one with someone and their feet are pointed out, they're not pointed at you, then that's a hint that they're in, they're wanting to go in, a, in, a, in another direction. Um, so be aware of someone's body language and when you're in a conversation with someone talk about the things that they are interested in a conversation unless you're going to therapy really it shouldn't be about you when you're in a conversation ask open-ended questions about what the other person's interested in if they ask you a question about yourself sure then take the opportunity to talk about yourself but no more don't go on for more than 30 seconds about yourself on any topic and always redirect a question back to them, like, oh, how about you? Make the conversation balanced in that way. You can make more friends in two days than you can in two years by becoming genuinely interested in other people. So ask others about the things that you know that they're interested in. And if you're not sure what they're interested in, just ask them, hey, what are your, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? What really lights you up? People love talking about the things that light them up. But they don't want to hear all about things that light you up, unless they're also interested in those things. So, those are some ways that you can make some friends. Um, I would also recommend going to those uh, those meet and greet circles that have those icebreaker activities that have at some events, some festivals. Um, yeah, like just go there, go to go to go to an event, go to a festival with good vibes, and you'll be sure to meet some really great friends. I've met. My best friends at festivals. I've met the love of my life at a festival. I've met uh, people who inspire me to death. People who just feel like absolute family. Um, I really feel like I have a really strong connection with a lot of people that I've met at these festivals. And when the festivals are over, I don't want to leave because it's like I'm leaving my family behind. It feels like I'm leaving my my brothers and sisters and sons and daughters and aunts and uncles behind. It's like I want them to come with me family now but yeah but there's a lot of people who go to festivals as well and they just bounce halfway through they just don't even finish the festival because they're just not making those connections so I, I don't even consider myself an extrovert I kind of consider myself an introvert like I like a lot of alone time I like a lot of um, quiet time I like a lot of time where I can just work on my creative projects but at these at these, at these events uh, a lot of people will come up to me because I give talks I give these speeches about fruit and healthy living um, so I kind of have to be able to converse with people and uh, these are just some of the tips that I would give anyone who asked me hey how can I make more friends here if you're not on stage and you don't have a hundred or plus people looking at you knowing who you are it might be a little more difficult to make friends at a festival especially if you don't know anyone there but using these tips you should be good to go just be sure to uh, go there with good vibes wear some clothing that's really approachable um, something unique and then just go talk to people who aren't doing anything just sitting there and ask them something that uh, you think they might be interested in make sure they're open-ended questions and um, get their contact info as well Hit a, ask for their Instagram ask for their snapchat ask for their uh, Facebook or YouTube channel whatever and um, yeah be aware of their body language and see if they're giving any hints or whatever if they want to actually keep talking to you or not they probably will if you're a nice person um, <laughs> Don't see why they wouldn't. And yeah, it should be good to go. Hope this video helped you guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. And I'll be sure to make a couple more videos before these festivals this summer to give you guys some uh, more tips about what to expect or how to behave and to get the most out of these events and festivals. But you guys are grown ups, so you probably know what to do already. So I just want to give you some insights about what's worked for me and what I would recommend for other people. Peace.
Chagas, l'abondance, la trajectoire de la course, l'instantané de nous, même s'il ne sert à rien. Devant l'emportant, tout disparaît. Thank you. 